Welcome back to Creative Excuses and the Ultimate Iron Man account. Last video, we knocked out two of the final pieces of the dream setup so that we can grind out Grigorovic for our best in slot armor. This episode, we are going to knock out a few quick grinds to clear out some inventory space, and then we're going to work on the supplies we are absolutely going to need to grind out Greg over a thousand or so unalives. Keep watching to see the sick and easy Iron Man friendly Herblore method that we're going to use to stock up on one of our most important potions. Let's jump into it. That is 70 summoning and two newly freed up inventory spots thanks to getting rid of those charms. In the words of the spiffing Brit, lovely jubbly. That doesn't sound as good coming from an American, does it? The next thing we need to do to clear up our inventory space is get rid of these stone spirits. So let's go mining. The crazy thing is that this mining grind that I'm about to set out on is going to give us like two thirds of the ores that we need for level 90 smithing. It almost makes me want to go back to the Glacier and stock up on a few more stone spirits to finish this out, but not yet. I'm going to spend a lot of time in the Glacier in the future for book pages, for charms, and probably so much more. And I don't particularly need 90 smithing yet, so there's no reason to go back for now. All right, I have a lot of work to do while I mine these 2.4k stone spirits, so I'm going to see you back when I'm finished with them. I expect this is going to take a couple days, if not a week. We'll see. Okay, so I was freaking the freak out because in my inventory, I see I'm missing the Bainite stone spirits, so I ran back thinking I accidentally shift dropped them or something. Nope, I didn't. They are in the ore box now. I had no idea. That's actually super convenient, but I was so scared that I just lost 2,400 Bainite ore. Whew. Okay, now bye. I'll, uh, I'll see you all very soon. Now is soon. I'm not done with the Bainite ore, but I, I'm smarter now, apparently. When you put the stone spirits in your ore box, you can actually get rid of the ore box, and when you make it again, it'll have all of your stone spirits in it still. That's amazing but only if you make it of the same tier of ore box. That means to save an inventory space, I don't actually need to use these stone spirits now. I just need to store them in the ore box, which is awesome. That's huge news and means I don't have to AFK the rest of these so I can AFK something else for inventory space. Oh, I'm back. I just finished mining and holy crap, I actually want to play the game. Let's check how many ore we got really quick. 4,931. That's almost 2,500 Bainite bars, which is a lot of smithing XP. I think that's like around level 88 or 89, which is nuts. But I want to play the game. So what's next? The Herblore grind. We need a ton of Guthix Rest Potions to jump fully into the Greg grind because it is a potion that heals us without taking away adrenaline. And it gives us temporary poison immunity, which means Greg will deal a lot less damage. Both of those things are essential, and conveniently, there's a way for us to get a ton, like a ton of the necessary herbs. The Chaos Druid Dungeon. You may remember this from an earlier episode when I said I was going to kill these guys for a big stack of herbs. Well, past me was dumb me, and I don't have to do any murder here. The herbs actually just spawn, so all I have to do is hop between worlds and pick them up until my herb sack and inventory is full. And then I note them and run back and do it all over again. It's also worth noting that there's a Ranar spawn and an Irrit spawn in this room. I'm, I'm gonna get a ton of Herblor XP from this method, I think. Inventory is full. Everything is noted and I have written down how much of each herb I have and I'm gonna send it for a full hour to see how many of these I can gather in the next hour. And then I'll do a price check for you somehow. Just to see if, like, if, if it's worth any money. Okay, it's actually only been 30 minutes, but I think it's a pretty good sample. I picked up roughly 80 of each herb, which would be about 160 an hour. That's not as fast as I hoped, but if I want a solid stack of Guthix Rest Potions, it's it's gonna be a few hours of world hopping or so. At 11,000 GP per world hop and 80 world hops in roughly 30 minutes, that looks like it's about 1.6 million GP per hour, which is approximately nothing. According to the wiki, killing chickens is 2.4 million gold an hour right now, so this is this is not good for non-Iron Men. For Iron Men, this is pretty solid. Getting this many Guthix rests, like it's useful herbs, it's useful potions, that's awesome, but not, not for mains. Don't do this. <laughs> don't, just don't. But it is roughly 40k Herblore XP an hour. Uh, that's not terrible, I don't think, though maybe I should try stealing seeds somewhere instead. 
maybe that's better. But I think I'd need a minimum of like 32 Harlander and Marantil seeds per hour from Master Farmers in order to beat this gathering rate for Guthix's rest potions. And I don't think that's possible. Okay, so for the actual method to do this gathering, uh, it's very specific. There is a most efficient method and it is to move along this line. So you wanna stand on this tile right on the corner of here and you can reach the Harlander and the Irrit with your area loot from here. And then you wanna go this way, surge. And then you can reach the Marin Till that's over there. So you can loot that. Then you walk to this spot right here and you can reach the Ranar that's in the corner. And then every time you world hop, your surge it comes off cooldown. So you world hop, you loot it, you move there, you loot it, surge, walk two tiles, and you loot. And it's super quick. You can also use dive if you have it, and it's great. Fun story. If you look at my inventory really fast, you can see spoilers for the future episodes. Did you get it? I don't know. We'll see. Drop it in the comments if you saw it. Just real quick. Thank you so much for the support on these videos. It has been really cool getting to chat with those of you in the comments and in the Discord. It's been fantastic. If you are interested in supporting the series a little more concretely, check out the merch store linked below in the description and below the video. Literally just one sticker purchase from one person on one video doubles how much I make from that video. So it would mean an absolute ton if you considered buying one if you like any. I've got plans to make a sick Ultimate Iron Man sticker in the future. I just have to find an artist. Anyway, back to the video. Okay, that is over 500 Guthix Rest worth of herbs, over 500 prayer potions, and over 500 super attack potions. I'm gonna make everything except the prayer potions because I don't need the prayer pots right now and they take up the same inventory space as herbs as they will as potions, so it doesn't really matter. First step is to make a bunch of unfinished Harlander potions. Okay, I think I need to start death piling more so that I have more inventory space when I need to do grinds like this. Like, this is so slow. That took like 35 to 40 minutes to make all those unfinished potions and now I've got to clean all the Marantils and then make the potions. Okay, at least the XP is like okay now. Training Herblore on an Ultimate Iron Man is pretty tedious. Editor's note, it's pretty tedious because you haven't figured out the preset system yet, you dummy. In a few episodes, you're going to figure it out, and it's going to make this so much easier. Probably. 54! Last inventory of Gothic's Rest. 522 three-dose potions made. That better last a while, Greg. I'm dropping these Marantils because I only need them in the same amount as Hardlanders, which I'll likely be getting from the hopping method at the same time anyway so the extra stack like just doesn't do me any good next up super attack potions after i go do some irl stuff 56 57 heck yeah ended at level 58 herb lore with 15k to go until 59 and still 580 prayer potions to make at some point now i do want more inventory spots still so i'm gonna get rid of these glacier drops which is a shame but oh well that felt Terrible to destroy. Oh well, that's the game mode. This should be plenty of inventory space for now, but loot is gonna, of course, gonna reduce that, so we may have to clear out some more spots in the future. For now, this is what we're starting the Greg grind with. That is 10 Greg kills. These are about two to two and a half minute kills, which is not terrible. It's not great, but whatever. It's what we're doing. Awesome. We got two shark drops back to back, which is excellent for our bunyip. We're going to make a few scrolls, and then I'm going to tell you why these are so good to get. Um, okay, never mind. So, bunyips have this really cool ability to use their scroll to swallow raw fish as food for you and heal you the same amount that the fish would heal you if it was cooked. But apparently, you still need the cooking level? That sucks. So, I still need 80 cooking to be able to use these sharks. Adrenaline free. Uh, just, just in general to use them i i guess i know what my next afk grind is gonna be all right i have died five times in a row now and i am tilted off of this planet and guess i'm coming back tomorrow today we are gonna try something new we are gonna get some food that my bunyip can actually eat for me to heal larger amounts a bit faster than guthix rests but still without costing adrenaline. I could try to grind out 80 cooking for sharks, but that's another long grind. It would just take time away from Greg, and I might not actually need to do that yet, so instead, I'm just gonna start with the ghostly souls and see how that goes. An additional buff that we can also get today is more damage from weapon poison. 
Elite Dungeons 1, 2, and 3 mobs all drop weapon poison plus plus doses common enough that I think I can try farming them out alongside some experience in necromancy and defense. This is going to be a significant damage boost against Greg, as he can be poisoned. So first things first, let's get some raw fish and then give Elite Dungeons 3 a try for weapon poison plus plus. If it takes too long to get sufficient doses, then I'm just going to switch gears and we'll make the lowest tier variant with simple Quarm and Dragon scales at level 60 Herblore. According to the Herblore calculator, I should have enough Ranar to actually make potions enough for 60 Herblore, which is perfect, so maybe it was meant to be. Ranars are cleaned, now I need to gather 579 Snapegrass. This is going to take a while, isn't it? I thought it would be fastest to gather Snapegrass from the Hobgoblins near Remington, but the wiki shows that Fungal Mages drop 4 noted Snapegrass commonly, along with a bunch of herbs. That means they could be pretty solid with only 2900 life points, so let's give them a shot. Holy crap, look at that Death Skulls go. It's taken me about two hours to gather this much snake grass, and I've gotten a full defense level off of it, which is pretty crazy too. But it feels reasonably efficient because I'm getting pure essence at the same time, and some Marantil and Harlander seeds, which of course I can plant. And there we go, 580 snake grass, almost 2000 essence, which would have been more if I'd been picking it up from the beginning, but I was a dumb dumb and I didn't. Unfinished potions are complete, and let's finish them. 59 herb lore, one more level. 60! That is Weapon Poison Unlocked, which should be a nice little DPS bump for not much effort at all. Just need some Quarms and a few Dragon Scales. All potions done. I just need to clear my inventory out a little bit, grab some raw food, and get back to Greg in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching this far. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe, and join my Discord at the link in the description to chat, get early updates on where my Ultimate Iron Man is now, and even help influence the direction of the account with theory crafting. Until next time, I'll see you all in the next excuse.